Hi, this is Lenny with DRP, and today I want to show you how much difference our hub defender bearing spacers make to your wheel hubs. Now, what we have here is a uh, standard wide 5 racing hub. Um, this is on one of our test fixtures, and what this fixture does, it is actually applies a side load uh, to the bearings. So it loads the bearings kind of similar to what would be on the track or on the road. Um, I put a lug nut on here so you can kind of have an idea of what the revolutions are too um, as we spin it. So in this first example, uh, this particular hub has no spacer installed. It's just the inner and outer bearings, kind of a standard setup. It, there's no preload on it, so it has just a little bit of end play to it. And we'll spin it here and you can see it's very free. Spins really good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a uh, side load to it. All right, I'm applying a 1,500 pound, yeah, let's do a 1,500 pound load. And that's, that's going to be a pretty typical uh, load for like a right front on a, on a circle track type car. All right, let's spin it again here. All right, this is that same hub with just a 1,500 pound side load. If you watch our lug nut, it looks like we're getting about a half a turn, about a half a revolution at the 1,500 pounds. All right. Let's release this, and now we're going to install our hub defender. All right, take our hub off. We're going to put our spacer in. Now the spacer goes just in between the inner and outer hub bearings. We have this particular spacer set to uh, one half of one thousandth in play. And that's our kind of our standard setting for these type hubs. So that's one half of one thousand in play. We'll run our, our nut back down here and I've just got it finger tight. We'll spin it again. You see we're very free, just like what we were before. Now this time let's go ahead and apply that 1,500 pound load again. All right, 1,500 pounds back to it. See our lug nut? Well, let's spin it. Before we had a half a revolution with no spacer. Now we have... Well, I'm not sure how many, but several revolutions, almost as many as with no side load at all, just by adding the spacer. 